Good afternoon, everybody. It's December 5, 2023. This is just some breaking news that I, I found. Um, it's a news break in New Jersey. The Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office, of course, you know that I lived in New Jersey for 30 years. So um, New Jersey actually has some fairly strict animal ab abuse and cruelty laws. And here is a case where the guy's going to jail. So this is in Howell, New Jersey, which was about 20 minutes from where I lived. And it's a township man has admitted to intentionally killing his pet cat, officials say. Christopher Sanchez, age 29, pled guilty to charges of third-degree animal cruelty by unnecessarily or cruelly abusing a living animal resulting in its death and simple assault, a disorderly person's offense. Authorities discovered the body of the deceased cat outside of Sanchez's home after they were called to the residence for an unrelated matter on March 31. They later determined that the cat named Lilith had belonged to Sanchez, and he allegedly used a sharp instrument to kill it two days earlier. Sanchez was arrested on the same day as the initial police response. Well, good for you guys. That doesn't happen here in rural Kentucky. People can kill anything they want here. And nobody goes to jail. The simple assault charge was filed against him because he physically attacked his roommate shortly after killing the cat, authorities say. Well, um, historically, folks, it is widely known that animal abusers, people who assault animals, who torture animals, um, historically end up in prison because it's a nanosecond away from harming a human or a human, a child, whatever. Physical abuse of an animal is consistent with future abuse of humans. So he was arrested on the same day, and the sentencing in the case has been scheduled for January 26, at which time the state intends to recommend a sentence of five years in state prison. That is the maximum permitted under state law, including an order to sign a consent permanently banning him from ever owning an animal as a pet. Well, I'm going to applaud you, County Prosecutor Freehold, Monmouth County, New Jersey. Um, I applaud you for up, standing up for the lives of animals that are abused by criminals in the neighborhood. Everybody in every state should take notice to the way New Jersey handles animal abuse and animal cruelty, particularly resulting in the death of an animal. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. Please leave a comment down below. How do you think this should have been handled? Do you think it was handled appropriately? Do you think this criminal who tortured and stabbed his cat and then left it outside to die and then assaulted his roommate on the same day, you think the sentence was just? <laughs> do you think it should have been more or less? Please leave a comment down below. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading signing off for now.